What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome to my current subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Leo, and you enjoy my content, you can slash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is um, how do they feel about you for the sign of Leo. This can resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Moon, Hanger, Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Free will. Only take the messages that resonate. It's a free general reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. Every like, subscribe, share, and donation. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below. Um, all donations are greatly appreciated. Single mom and two kids, so it's truly appreciated um, in every aspect, for sure. No one can change my love for you. This is how they um, feel about you. I'm really sensitive deep down. I just put up a front. I have inner childhood wounds. Boat reversed. Stabbed in the back upright. Hand of cards reversed. Holy crap, Leo. Someone wants to come back soon, but they have severely stabbed you in the back in a huge, huge way. Know this. Huge betrayal, and they just will keep doing it. Because they felt like they could do it in the past. By an unfair advantage. Oh my God. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So if this resonates for you, somebody of the past wants to come back. Um... I heard they had an unfair advantage in the past. They felt like they could take, just take advantage of you and just do what the hell they want to do to you in the past or do say about you or do to you or whatever. For some, I feel it could be abuse energy, possibly. Um, but um, I heard they had an unfair advantage. So they had some kind of unfair advantage in some shape, form, or fashion that gave them this entitled sense of basically unnecessary abuse to you. Um, for some, it's two or more people. Virgo and Scorpionic and Gemini energy for some. Okay, for some of you guys, it's two or more people. I heard Virgo, Scorpio, and Gemini energy. So a Virgo, Scorpio, and a Gemini, they could have Virgo, Scorpio, or Gemini in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hamer, Jupiter charts. You plug it in how it resonates, and if that resonates for you. And Aries. And Aries. Okay. Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini and Aries. They could have Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, or Aries in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midheaven, Jupiter. Um, and another Leo. And another Leo. And another Leo. So Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, and another Leo. That's a lot of people. For some, it could be one person. For some, it could be two plus. Or it could be one with all those in their chart. But they could have Virgo, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, or um, who was the other one? Forget the other one. Gemini. Gemini. And there's some moon rising, Venus, North, Node, Midheaven, Jupiter. But I heard they have some kind of unfair advantage. So they abuse you in some shape, form, or fashion. Whether it was mental, physical, um, verbal, financial, uh, spiritual, one or all those things. And Libra. And Libra. And Libra. So that's six signs. That's half of the freaking zodiac. And Libra. They could have Libra and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Node, Midheaven, Jupiter. Um, but I heard basically it would not be smart to let them back. Because... They felt like they could just abuse and do what the hell they want to do to you in the past. And they probably won't feel the same way coming back. Because I heard it's not going to get better. It's not going to get better. You might think it's going to get better, but it's not. So it's better just to close out the cycles with these people and move forward. Is what I'm feeling with this. No one can change my love for you reverse. So for some, I feel they have somebody. Or they feel they can come back and start the cycle of abuse again. However, that resonates for you. I'm really sensitive deep down. I just put up a front. For some, they are emotional about it, but they refuse to change. Okay. I heard for some, they are emotional about it, but they refuse to change. 
So they're emotional that they abused you in some shape, form, or fashion in the past, but they're not too emotional about it because they still, it sounds like, integrate the same patterns in their own life. So for some, I feel they're with karmics right now and they abuse their karmics in some shape, form, or fashion. That's what I'm feeling for some. And if you allow them back in your life, they're just going to keep abusing you and start the cycle all over again with you. But of course, everybody has free will and you can do what you want to do. I have inner childhood wounds reversed. For some, you have helped heal these people. And they are not grateful. Oh my God, this is horrible. I heard for some of you guys, you have helped heal these people, but they are not grateful. So you've helped heal them in some shape, form, or fashion in the past. I think maybe for some, you were in romantic relationships with them and you're an empath and they are narcissists and they just fed off your energy, time, money, or all those things. And they're basically not grateful for it. And they want to come back and get the narcissistic supply again. It's basically what I'm feeling for some. Vote reverse, receiving what you need, progression arriving. Severe karmic energy here. Severe. It'd be best to protect yourself. Okay, I heard severe karmic energy here. Severe, it'd be best to protect yourself. So for some, it could be one person. For some, all six. But that's a lot of freaking energy if that's six people um, trying to come back. Just saying, you guys. For some, it could be like 50 Libras and two Geminis. I mean, you have to plug in how it resonates in your own life. But for some, I feel it could be up to six people. For some, it could just be one. But this is some severe, narcissistic, nasty energy. Abusive people. These are abusive people, basically. Stabbed in the back. Upright, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Yeah. Um, I heard they've done it in the past, and they basically will do it again if you allow them back. So they tend to swords you in the back in the past. This time, it might be 50 swords. Um, you just have, please be careful. Just please be careful. Of course, you have free will, and you can allow them back if you want. But, um... And you have to plug these people in your life how they fit. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Hand of cards reverse. Take a chance. Risk. Be strategic. Reverse. They knew you needed help in the past. And they did not help because of money. But for some, the roles are hugely reversed now. And they might come back for money. Beware. Oh my God, this is terrible. So for some, um, they did not help you in the past. I heard they they knew you really needed help in the past in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, I feel it could have been emergent help. Um, you were in some severely abusive situation. But I heard they refused to help because of money. So they were making money off you in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, I feel it could be Secret 7 situation, possibly. But you plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, whether it was Secret 7 or not, they knew you needed help. Severe, urgent help. Um, but they refused to do it because they were making money off you in some shape, form, or fashion. But I heard the roles are reversed for some of these people now. And now they need money. And so they're going to try to come back and basically bleed you for money for some. For some. Um, so they didn't help you in the past, but now they want you to help them. This is narcissistic energy if I've ever heard it or seen it in a reading. So badly. I mean, all the cards, all the messages, period. This is terrible. Let me see if I hear anything else. Some are closet gay. Some are openly gay. Okay, I heard some are closet gay and some are openly gay. So some of these people are closet gay and some are openly gay. So you have six people in here, at least six people. You have to plug these people in that are closet gay and openly gay. You plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. If you're gay, you're gay. If you're not, you're not. I don't judge those kind of things. But some of these people are closet gay and some are openly gay. So you plug it in how it resonates. All right, I hope this helped. If you think anyone else could benefit from the messages, please share these videos on your social media and word of mouth. I'd appreciate it. Love you guys. I'm staying.